speak. And we, we see some footballers, don't we, when they fall out of the, the spotlight. I don't know if it's a spotlight, whether it's just the absence of football from their lives. They start to struggle. People already may be suggesting, did the PFA do enough to help him? Now, for both you guys, obviously, for people out there watching this in Malaysia, give us a brief rundown, Maka, of what the PFA does for players when they finish playing. Um, well, Professional lot... Footballers Association, I must yeah, say. Yeah, you have to is, be yeah. part of the, uh, the PFA, uh, the Players yeah. uh, Association. And they do a lot in terms of behind the scenes stuff. They can't help someone's life mm. and career. Go they can't forward. hold their hand all no, the way through, can't. but there's a support can't. there to, to lean on if, yeah, you, if you're yes, sensible about I, I, it. I'm a, I, I'm a believer in the PFA. Yeah. I, I think, yes, they all feather their own nest at times, which is what they do. But they're there for you. They can't, like the Gaza situations and, and now the mm. Dalians, unfortunate yeah. situations. It's the family and friends that need to take a look at themselves. Yeah. How you move forward. There's lots of superstar, ex-superstar footballers who fall by the wayside because of the adrenaline rush that, that football gives you. And, and losing that adrenaline flow week, day in, day out, not week in, week out, day in, day out, is hard to come to terms with. Maybe the PFA should set up more... Of a, an understanding just got basis. One question. Psychologist. For, for certain finish. players who've been at a certain club for so many years, did you think the clubs itself yes. no, should be doing a bit more? I've got in my notes, yeah. the clubs yeah. should do more. I have just Tottenham like Hotspur, BFA, a club, yeah. for example, that have a um, foundation. I think they tried to help Gaza as well as the PFA. I mean, a lot of people have tried to help Gaza over a number of years, and ultimately you have to take responsibility yourself on your own personal D Day. I've had it myself where you have to say, well, I've got to help me. Um, but I don't think there is a communication process, a two-way communication process between um, player and PFA. I don't know the PFA's number. Mm. I don't have anybody emailing me, an email database. You've never, since you retired, you've no, never I have, been in discussion I, I, with I have had help from the yeah. PFA, but I, but I contacted them. But what I'm saying is, just even a, a, a phone number or an email that says, right, um, can we have a can we have a, a two-way communication process? I mean, I think that they've supported the Sporting Chance Clinic, which, which was uh, set up by Tony Adams uh, for players that had, had struggled, and Paul Gascoigne's been to that. But I certainly think for clubs, clubs are great at putting up on the on the advertising <laughs> boards and in the big X screens, rest in peace, X yeah, player, yeah. Da, 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 and, and and you know putting their goals up. But what they need to do is is realise that these guys that have helped them to be the clubs and the brands that they are, is just have a communication process. Nobody's expecting the clubs to pay their bills forever and a day or for them to invite them to every single game, but to say to have a, a proper, vibrant former players' association that says, come down half a dozen times a season and come and see us. You know, we've got your email address. How are you? Just just mm. simple things like that, and I don't think I agree with what Stanley says. Well, again, you're right. Them. Liverpool have their own... Uh, a, um, union. You have to well, many buy the into Liverpool. Clubs employ ex players to come ex, back on match days. And that's you, you, where you, you get your they, masters. They employ that's a way of gathering. Well, I don't, I'm not too sure whether these, these clubs are aware of the fact that, that these players have problems. Mm. And, and that's maybe, maybe lack of communication. Well, but what so Sten's it, trying to say is the, they, they should know there is a number or there is a, a yeah. someone that they can relate to. I would guarantee that, that, that Daly right? Atkinson, even if he wanted to, wouldn't have been able to. Um, call somebody at Villa because he wouldn't have known who to call. Yeah. And I just think that the PFA have every... I think that they pretty much have uh, most players and ex-players' details. Um, I, I deal with the PFA and you interview Gordon Taylor on radio shows and what have you. Um, but I think that, that the PFA could do a little bit more, but clubs could do a hell of a lot more to say five or six times during a season come down and, for example, to be able to use... I mean, now clubs have huge medical departments, they have psychologists, they have psychiatrists. Have the club. Just sometimes, if they know that a player... It's just, they've seen it in the newspaper, that a player is struggling, give them a little bit of help, reach out to them, and I think that that could make a massive if, difference. If they know, if they know, yeah. I think. It's